are those traders who prefer mechanical trading, and there are those traders who prefer discretionary trading. Furthermore, I would say most traders prefer to use chart trading because of the convenience and speed of making your decision and executing your trade right from the chart. However, there is a third method of trading, which I call hybrid chart trading. Mechanical trading has some advantages over discretionary trading. One of the main advantages of mechanical trading is that it enables you to produce consistent trading results. In other words, your actual trading results should be identical to the results generated by the system. This type of trading requires very little thinking or analysis on your part, and all you have to do is follow the trading system rules without deviation. Discretionary trading, on the other hand, entails identifying when to enter and exit a trade based on whether you cognitively or intuitively perceive that a profitable trade opportunity exists. In essence, you are assimilating various mental processes of perception and judgment to determine whether you should either take a position or remain on the sidelines. Although discretionary traders also use rules for entering and exiting a trade, usually discretionary rules do not meet the objective and mechanical test. Typically, discretionary rules cannot be completely programmed for computerized mechanical trading. Here are the triangle trading indicators for Ninja Trader on 1-9-2015 on the ES4 Renko. What I did with hybrid chart trading was to combine the best of both uh, disciplines because you cannot plot a mechanical strategy on a chart trading chart. I wrote an indicator that just plots arrows on the screen as would occur with a mechanical strategy, but does not trigger a trade. I then wrote a strategy based on the indicator. I can then optimize back test or walk forward test the strategy on the strategy analyzer and plug those results into the indicator, thus producing an optimized indicator that acts like a strategy. The arrows that are then plotted on the screen are treated as suggestions to either take a discretionary trade or ignore the arrow. The significant thing is that the strategy and thus the indicator trades profitably in and of itself. So you add discretionary trading to an already profitable system and you're already ahead of the game. So uh, market opens at uh, 6.30 in the morning here on the West Coast. So here's 6.30 right here where the crosshairs are plotted. And then the very next bar, a down arrow came in. And then you go short on the next bar, which is right here. And if you scroll down where the arrow is, you can see that the indicators are all red and moving down and the zero lines are red as well. Um, swing cycle is moving down here and has turned red right in here on this bar after the arrow comes in. Get out of this trade when it hits this level of support which is the level of today's open and uh, these uh, yellow dots in here act as support and resistance. So uh, the equity moves up a little bit here so you're out of the trade right in this area. Then this up arrow comes in here uh, and on the next bar here you would ignore this up arrow because uh, the indicator line is still below the zero line here even though the zero line turns green right in here that just means an upward bias to the equity but uh, it doesn't coincide with the indicator line. So then you get a red arrow comes down here and you go short on this bar right here. The uh, indicator line is already well below the zero line. The zero line is, is turned red right in here. Uh, you follow this down to here and the swing cycle shoots up here again so uh, you get out of this trade right around this area. And this is a one, two, three, four, uh, four or five point trade right in here. Uh, you get an, another up arrow here. You ignore this up arrow because even though the zero line turns green, the uh, indicator line is red and well below the zero line here. 
then you come over here and you get another down arrow right here very often after an arrow either up or down you'll find a bar is plotted in the opposite direction and then the equity will resume the direction that the arrow indicates so I uh, would go short on this bar right here the um, indicator is already well below the zero line all the indicators are red and moving down uh, on this uh, right here and so you would ride this down to here when it clearly becomes oversold right in here right in here and um, the variable band becomes very close to the swing cycle so another indication of oversold and the swing cycle shoots up here so uh, you get out of this trade right here now another down arrow comes in here but you're already very close to the oversold uh, line here so you don't go uh, short right in here then you come over here and you get an arrow to the upside and the equity crosses above this green um, price action trend line but you don't go long here because you're in a long downtrend in through here and also even though the zero line turns green the indicator line stays below the zero line here so you ignore this up arrow then you get a down arrow comes in here so you go short on the next bar which is right here you can see all the indicators are clearly already red and moving down and uh, so you ride this down to here where it becomes oversold right in here so um, this is happening as I speak so uh, I would probably take my profits right here and get out of this trade at this point here's an example of back testing the um, strategy and for the last uh, about seven months since uh, July to the first of uh, January here and you can see the net profit uh, each month here and every month was profitable now granted there was only three hundred and seventy five dollars profit in November but October there was 23,000 profit now that's just with the strategy that increases greatly when you combine that with the discretionary portion of the package and you can see the strategy in and of itself trades between roughly 48 to 50 percent uh, profitable trades and um, it's not a sophisticated strategy it's always in the market it goes long and it goes short and uh, it doesn't get out and get in any any other time and so even at that you can see that it's profitable so what you're doing then is you're taking a profitable uh, system to begin with and then you're refining that with your discretionary trading to greatly increase uh, the percent uh, of profitability of each trade mm -hmm.